Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to see the types of symmetry. So let's get started. So basically a type of symmetry are of four types and we are going to see in this video. So what is the necessary or what is the need of this symmetry in FEA we will understand first. So before that, I will give a small demo of example. So here is a watermelon. So let's cut it. And you can see it is converted into two halves, which is identical and equal to each other. So this is the uh, one example. So based on this example, we will move ahead. So types of symmetry and why it is needed. So basically in the FEA we have two nodes and elements which are most important part in our FEA. So let's put it on the graph. So when the number of nodes in your problem or in your project will increase or number of elements will increase, it will increase the solving time. So as nodes increases solving time will be more but the accuracy is very good when there is a number of nodes are very high so let's move to the next graph so there is a picture of computational power that is computational efforts we can say so which is consist of ram graphics card and memory which is having so if we have low ram or low computational power then time required for solving this problem is more so if we have good ram good memory and good configuration so time required for solving this problem is very less so ultimately after this fea problem number of nodes number of elements computational power we have to con consider about the time so we want to get the solution done in less time with higher accuracy so how to achieve in some problem so there is comes the types of symmetry in the picture so let's understand what is symmetry in FEA so basically there are four types of this symmetry one is axial planar cyclic and repetitive so first one is axial so axial symmetry is suppose there is one object which is symmetrical about one axis so here is one uh, conical shape of a cylinder and it is symmetric about this axis. So when I cut the section over here, so it will look like this. So suppose in this problem, we are applying some pressure over here and we have fixed over here. So same boundary conditions can be applied on this this is the pressure and this is the fixed support. So we will get some result for this problem, this cross section. So ultimately if we want to model this, we will get higher nodes, higher elements. But in this problem, which is the cross section or 2D, so we will get less nodes. We can refine this so that it will be having more nodes, but which is less than this model and we will get good results for this cross section. Now in software we have, we can rotate these results about its axis. So we will rotate by whatever the angle we need it. So we can rotate it by 360 degree. So when we rotate this 360 degree, only result we are rotating, not the model. So we will get the result of whole this 3D part. Even we can do it for 180 degree, 90 degree or whatever the degrees you need. So this is called as a axial symmetry. So condition is that it should be symmetric about the axis. So moving forward to the next. Planar symmetry. So in the planar symmetry, you can understand them about the mirror. So object is mirror about the one plane. So here is one plane. On this plane, it is symmetric about this. 
even on this plane it is symmetric about this so it is about x plane or its y plane which is symmetric about so we can consider the mirror part so in this geometry if we consider so this is the half portion which is symmetric about here so we can consider half portion even this portion is symmetric about one plane so we can consider only this so in this case suppose we are applying some pulling force over here and pulling force over here so that can be converted into this so some pulling force will be applied here and some boundary conditions which will be applied here and some boundary conditions will be applied over here according to that we will solve this problem and which results we will get that results will be reflected upon this plane as well about this plane so on these two planes we will reflect to each other so we will get the full ultimate result so solving this problem requires less time even we can uh, refine this model with greater number of nodes and solve it and so that we will get the full result for this your planar geometry so moving to the next type of symmetry that is cyclic symmetry so in cyclic symmetry so what is the difference between axial symmetry and cyclic symmetry so don't get confused here so in axial we will be having one cross section so in this case if you take a cross section over here so that is a different cross section but if you get cross section here that is a different cross section so that's why axial symmetry is not applying over here but if you see there is a there is a part of this component now this is the part of this component if we take it all the way about this axis so you can see similar components are attached together so that's called as a cyclic symmetry so you can take this part out by cutting this over here and analyze this part and just rotate it by number of uh, components so we will get the final result so this is called as a cyclic symmetry so here we have to consider part of the component in the cyclic analysis last one is the repetitive so in the repetitive analysis so the component is like this and it is repetitive about one direction is not axis or it not a plane in any direction it is a repetitive just like a railway train it is a repetitive bogies so we have to consider the again part of the component and the direction which it is so here this is the component which is symmetric about this direction so we will consider only one component like here and we will analyze that and we will make the result symmetric about the this axis so we will get the results on each component so finally we will get the result of full model so what are the benefits of this symmetry first one it saves time because the model which is actual model and we are analyzing model is very less very small as compared to full model so it will save the time no doubt now low computational efforts means what so if this node count is 1 lakh and here node count is 10000 so solving this problem is requires less amount of computational effort so it will solve and the re results which will get is kind of similar on the both full model as well as this symmetrical model so hope you have understood about symmetry uh, and how it is works in the fea so please subscribe and press bell icon to get more updates on the next video thank you